We're pretty excited this morning as we are about to head out and actually go shopping for our new caravan. I'm pretty sure I've narrowed it down to a few that I think would work with what we can tow and what we need for our family, which is the two of us and our two puppies. But basically I need Andy to come along and make sure she's happy with what we're choosing. And give the seal of approval. Yep. Look at all the creature comforts. The colours, very important. Yes, very important. Um, and so basically we're going to go Adelaide RV now, meet up with Jeb, he's going to show us through everything that he has on a lot that think that would work with what we're towing and what we're doing, so alright, off we go, have, Let's have a look. Let's do it! Hello, hello. Good morning, how, how are, are you? I'm Jeb. Jeb, nice to meet you, I'm Andy. How can I help? We're just wanting to have a look at some vans today. I think Simon's chosen what he's looking for, but okay. it's my seal of approval. Yes, most certainly, <laughs> most certainly. Let me grab a pamphlet, just pop over here. Thank okay. you. Okay, so this is a really good starting point. I'll obviously ask you a few questions when we get out in the yard, but what we'll do is we'll take this little brochure with us. So what we do here is we have Supreme Leader and Goldstream Caravans, okay? Goldstream, we tend to build more camper trailers and pop tops. So they're like the wind up ones with the canvas and yep. you're more thinking caravan. That's what Definitely. you said at the start. Yes. Cool. So what we've got is we've got our leader range, which is our family range. That's all with bunks. And then we have our supreme range that we tend to stock more for just a two birth van. Um, okay. So is there any little kitties or any fur babies that might be coming along with you? Absolutely. Two fur babies. Two fur babies. Fantastic. Well, what we'll do, I've got a heap of bunk vans. I'll grab the leader brochure as well. Okay, so that is this one here. What we'll do is we'll take these two out. We've got some bunk vans. I'll also show you into some two people vans. We'll head out in the yard and we'll see if we can find something for you. Fantastic. Thank you. Cool. So do you know what exactly Simon's going to be towing with? Has he got a vehicle in mind? He does. We currently have a Mitsubishi Triton. And that's what you're planning on towing the van with? That's exactly the Fantastic. one. Fantastic. All right, no dramas. Now, what, the reason I ask that question is obviously there's set weight limits on different vans. So what you can, can and can't tow with different vehicles. Oh. So it's our responsibility here at Adelaide RV to make sure that what we're showing you, you can actually legally tow. So many people out there that just have these utes that aren't fitted up to be able to do that and huge big vet caravans behind them and they're just not legal so something we I need did to not consider yeah so something we need to make sure that what we're showing you you can tow with the triton we do have a lesser capacity in the mitsubishi triton so what i'll show you today is more on the smaller scale um but from what you were saying earlier that's probably where you're thinking of going and you don't want anything too big no no cool so let's stick our head in here all right this one is sold okay but i do have a lot of stock coming through so one thing i haven't asked you as of yet is when do you need a caravan buy is this something you're wanting to like pick up and go straight away you're looking to potentially order something have you ever thought about that yeah look simon is very keen to hit the road sooner rather than later mm -hmm. we're thinking in the next four weeks next four weeks cool awesome well good news is not this particular one, but I do have stock available, okay, um, that we can get you straight in, which I'll show you. Um, other way, we kind of got to stick with the colours that are here. Okay. All right, All so right. in that time frame, it, it t takes us longer than that to build the caravan. Uh, and then obviously we have waiting times as well. Now, here at Adelaide RV, we do order a heap of stock coming through. So I can get you something, you know, with your own custom colour choices within the next kind of four to six months. Yeah. Um, but if you're wanting four to six weeks, we've probably got to find something in the yard. So right. we'll kind of stick to what is in stock and what we can kind of see here. And then we'll tr we, we can do certain um, customizations here, different fit outs. But we'll get to that um, a little bit later. But I'll just turn this radio down so we can hear ourselves and I'll show you in this bunk van. Okay, so this, that we, uh, this caravan that we're in at the moment is a leader. As I said, when we were in the office, the leader caravans we tend to um, build more in a family variant. So you'll see the bunks there for real babies or fur babies. <laughs> what sort of dogs? Not sure how the fur babies are Not sure how they'll get up there. Don't think we'll quite be able to lift them Maybe up. This one. Maybe, Maybe this, this one. one. We've got Bruce, the Aussie Shepherd. He would love that space. And we've got Willow, the miniature schnauzer. So look, they'll definitely be coming on every single trip that we take. Cool. I don't know that we need bunks for them. Yes. I think there'll be plenty of space around here around for their in beds. Here. And you know what? They'll probably end up back up on there in, with us. Yeah, in mum and dad's <laughs> bed. Mum and dad's. So we do do triple bunks. Okay. So with this one here is a double bunk. 
when we do triple bunks, the bottom bunk is on the floor. Right. So that may be an option that you can look at. So they're not physically having to jump up in there. Yes. It's actually at, so the, the mattress is basically at floor level. Okay, so I can show you into that before you completely rule out the bunks. But then we do have the possibility of others wanting to come with us. Okay, and, you know and that's a no-no? Look, <laughs> in the caravan, it's our safe space. Yes. Simon and I to get away, take the fur kids with us, get off the grid. Yeah. That's the plan. If you're thinking maybe no for the bunks, mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll jump you back into one of our smaller 18 foot Supreme. So this is a leader. And as I said before, the leader we build with the bunks. I'll take you now into a Supreme, which the Supremes we tend to build with uh, just for two berth. Okay, so right. we just have the normal ensuite, lounge, kitchen, and obviously our main bed at the front. I really right. do like this bench top. Love though. the timber? Okay, yeah. cool. Awesome. The well, good news is this one's sold, so you can't have this one anyway. We'll okay. find you another one with That's timber. That's right. Let's I'm go. I'm committed to the cause. <laughs> My perfect van is out there. Yes, most definitely. Okay, so what we have in behind us here, Andy, is our 18 foot single axle. Now this has been fitted with independent suspension. Now I know I might be talking a different language <laughs> to you right now, but basically, lost yeah, I lost you. Okay, so do you think you guys are gonna be doing heaps of off-road work, like going off the bitumen, you know, Look, heavy we're not corrugations? going into the mountains, yep. but the beach, absolutely. The beach, you beach fans, yes, love the beach. Absolutely, All we'll right. be doing a lot of coastal driving. Cool. So what about free camping? Are you the guys, like obviously you said before, that you prefer to just disconnect? Are you the guys that prefer to go to caravan parks or do you like to just pull up wherever you can? That's the one. We don't have kids. We don't yes. want to go to a caravan park yes. and be surrounded by other people. Fantastic. So we'll find you something that is self-contained, yep. but not necessarily full off-road. Wonderful. Wonderful. Sounds good. Cool. So I'm going to take you into this. This is our classic Tura 18 foot. This is semi off-road. Okay, well, what semi off-road means is it's great for beaches. Okay, it is great for national parks. It's going to do the gravel roads and dirt roads into certain destinations without anything falling off or things coming loose or anything like that on the rougher roads. And we can still tow it with the Triton. And you can still tow it with the Triton. Because we're staying back in that smaller range, this one is a single axle. Okay, so what that means, it has one wheel each side. Okay, so two wheels in total. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I know I'm talking a different language here. It will all make sense kind of as we go through. So the single axle can become sometimes a little bit more difficult to tow. Okay, so okay. has Simon towed much before? Simon hasn't. Yes. And I, well, not much. Not much. And I haven't towed anything ever. Okay, so yeah. Yep. Are you going to do, are you doing the driving? Look, I'm more of the snack person in okay. the front seat, yeah, yeah, yeah. but on the off yeah. chance that I do have to tow, I want to make sure it's, that you, can. you know, that yep. I can. Yep. So you're responsible for the snacks and the wine drinking, That's and then exactly Simon's your right. designated driver. That's it. How good, how good. All right, let's jump inside. After, and this now, we this did is a the supreme. leader, and we're doing the We're supreme. doing this, yep. So, Got it. Yep, so again, when we go back into more two birth, what we call two birth caravan, so suited just for, you know, uh, two people uh, and fur babies can go on the floor, of mm -hmm. course. You, what you, one of the biggest advantage that you, advantages that you get is the fact of a separate shower and a separate toilet. Oh. So I know we didn't spend a great deal of time in the bunk vans because we kind of ruled them out straight away. Yeah. We wanted to go back to a, a two birth van, but the, a lot of the smaller bunk vans have a combined shower and toilet. And what that means oh, is no, you've kind of you. got the shower and the toilet in the one little room. Yeah, when we jump in us. here, Basically, the back third of this caravan is a separate shower, separate toilet, full on suite. So you can actually, you know, shower in peace, go to the toilet in peace, have somewhere to actually get changed, you know, a mirror in there so you can be doing your hair, doing your makeup, that sort of stuff. So we'll jump into here. This is 18 foot single axle. So this is a little bit tighter to get around where yep. the bed is there. Okay, so again, we need to be careful with how big we actually go because we want to make sure that it's still comfortable for Simon and yourself to tow if you do need to tow it. Um, but we need to obviously stay within a weight range as well because right. we do have that limitation of the Triton. Yes. Okay, so as wonderful as it would be for me to show you up into our 20 footers and our 21 footers, I really think we need to stay somewhere between that 18 to 19 feet range um, to actually get obviously the best bang for buck, but then still be able to tow it and get it into those kind of harder to get to places. 
So, so we can go a smaller van now, and when I convince Simon to upgrade the car, yes. we can come back and do that training. Most that you definitely, were about. most definitely. So if we've got something that can tow three and a half ton, okay, which you know is more of like your Toyota Land Cruisers and those sort of vehicles, then we can jump you up into you know the bigger off-road things. And who knows? Once you start to travel around a little bit, you get down to your beaches and Indian national parks and do some free camping. You might get a little bit more adventurous and maybe you want to head a little bit more into the middle of the country. Australia's well, got look, some amazing places. And we've got a bathroom too. So whilst we will be free camping, toilet and shower, yes. absolutely amazing. So how that runs is you do not need power at all inside of this caravan. So like a plug-in power, you don't need 240 volt power to run anything apart from your air conditioner, okay, which is up on the roof mm -hmm. and your microwave. Okay, and of course any of your normal power points. Okay, so this has what we call a 12 volt system inside of it. So yep. that's a battery system. You've definitely lost me again. I've lost you. <laughs> so the most important thing to basically to put that into terms that are going to make sense is you're going to come into here, you're going to flick the switch on and the 12 volt system will kick into gear and it's going to run all of your lights. It's going to run the water pump your hot water system is going to operate. So basically this is a self-contained caravan. Okay, so you can do pretty well anywhere, you know, you really want to go. You don't have to go to caravan parks and plug into power Fantastic. to be able to use this van. So you can use everything in here, the lights, the fridge, the sink, the stove, the toilet and the shower, along with our radio system that we were talking about before. Mm -hmm. We can use all of that without the need for 240 volt power. Right, okay. amazing. Amazing, yeah. So we put two big solar panels on the roof. And that's okay. standard? It's standard inside of this range. So all the features that I'm discussing with you now are all standard in the Supreme Classic Tourer. That's in the little brochure you've got on top there at the moment. Okay, and what we do have, we do have a few really common upgrades that I will suggest to yourself and Simon, you know, as we go along through the process, um, that just may make life a little bit more convenient when you're out on the road. Um, and you can do those upgrades within the next four weeks. We can do those upgrades within the next four weeks. My service manager, Brad, may not like me, okay, but if I give him a nice smile, I reckon he might, uh, he might just say yes. I think service manager Brad will be fine. Service manager Brad will be fine. Fantastic. So what do we think about this size? Is it a little bit small or do you think it's going to be okay? I'm, he I'm hesitant. I really like it. I love the timber, which yep. we have spoken about. I love that it has the separate shower and toilet. Yep. That's right on point. Interestingly, the conversation about the single axle yes. has made me a bit nervous okay. about this van. Yep, fantastic. Yep, yep. So we do, obviously, when we go into any larger than 18 feet, we need to go to a tandem axle. Now, what tandem means is two okay so that is or dual mm -hmm. depending on you know who you're talking with so it's four wheels in total two on each side right okay now what happens when you have a tandem axle caravan or two wheels on each side is the van is much more stable on the ground so feeling this van it's kind of rocking around a little bit can you feel bit. that yeah you get a little bit of a movement inside of the van it's because it's just on a single axle and we don't have our stabilizer legs down okay, okay so on all four corners there's like this little leg again don't worry, when, if we do decide and find your perfect van, we will go through a full instructional handover with you. Amazing. Okay, so it will teach you for two to three hours how to use everything in the van. So please don't worry, we're gonna get to that. But just for now, it's more so knowing that a tandem axle van is going to be more stable than a single axle caravan, okay? Right. Can we look at one of those? We most certainly can. Let's do it. This one that we're going to show you is a tandem axle. Okay, so it still has all, yep. So remember before we were saying about the two wheels each side? Got it. So it's going to be more of that layout there. All right, so this is the layout. So I'll jump right. inside in a moment. But just before we jump inside, I know you've mentioned a number of times about your timber bench top. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the dark outside? I love this. You love the dark love outside? Bla all black Tick. everything. What color's your car? Black. It's black. Yes. Oh, well, that'll look, that'll black, look awesome right? behind it. So yeah, this this definitely ticks the box from okay. an external, external um, point aesthetic of view. perspective, yeah. which of course is more what yeah, I'm interested, what you're interested in, in than the tandem situation. Yes. But 
But you want Simon to be safe when he's towing it, right? I do, yes. yes. So the, these are the important things. I look at how good looking stuff is. Yes. And he I can tell that. I can tell the, that by um, Simon. He's yeah. a beautiful looking man. Isn't he? Um, <laughs> and he wants Loves to know it. about the safety features and the storage <laughs> and all of the, you know, more functional aspects of the van. Cool. Fantastic. All right. So we can chat to Simon about that. Okay. But obviously for yourself, one of the biggest things I'm going to let you know right now is you told me that we need it in four weeks, four yes. to six weeks. Yeah, you told yeah. me we need to sweet talk our service manager, Brad. We've kind of established that you want a tandem axle van. Good news is when we jump in here, if and just if it ticks all the boxes, this is one of the only vans I have in this size that is available. So that was why my first question was, what do you think of the black? Because you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Yes, very but polarizing, if it, if it, I imagine. Yes. So, love but it. if it's a love, okay, tick. if it's a love love relationship, that's a tick. Now, what a lot of people kind of fear when they're looking at dark caravans is they're going to get hotter, mm. okay, in the heat. But what we do with our Supreme caravans is we actually put a white roof on them. Oh. All right, so if we were to jump up on a ladder or we'll be looking at it from a two story building, it's got a white roof. Okay, Fantastic. which means that obviously that's where the sun is penetrating through. Mm -hmm. So we don't find the inside of these caravans heating up like a typical darker caravan would. They stay around about within one to two degrees of a normal white caravan, but you haven't got that standard white caravan like everyone <laughs> else has got. You've got something here that looks amazing. And of course, it's got the solar panels on the roof too. Yes, so Have all of our case. Supreme Classic Tourers in the little pamphlet that I was showing you here and what we're going through in the single axle one, all our standard features are the same. It's just the layout that changes. Right. So when we go a Classic Tourer, which is the name of this one here, Okay, when we go a classic tour, the standard features are all identical, and then we just grow in length and the layouts internally slightly change. Okay, so features of this one, two big solar panels on the roof and two batteries. That's going to keep them lights on and keep things running for longer periods of time. So you said you like to escape. Yes. All right, you're gonna be able to escape for around about five or seven days. Having said that, mm -hmm. I also work remotely occasionally. Yes. Will my laptop be supported by the electronics great, in this Great, great question. So if you do want to put two, anything 240 in, okay, we have two options. Option number one is that we get ourselves a little generator. I'm not sure if you've seen them at any of the camping no, shows or anything, but they're a little portable generator. We run with petrol and they start and they'll create 240 volt power. Yep. Plug them into the side of the caravan and they'll give you all of your electrics but they are a little bit noisy, okay, and you need somewhere to put them and to carry them when you're going along. So you said Simon's got a ute, he may be able to put it in the back of the ute. Option number two is we put what we call an inverter. Okay, so, so what an inverter does, I know I'm starting to talk a different language, but it changes 12 volt into 240 volt. Right. Okay, now if you're only wanting to just charge the laptop, then we can put a small inverter in here, which just when you want to charge it, you can plug it into the small inverter and it will charge the laptop. Okay, that's on a small inverter. So like if you wanted to do hair dryers and straighteners and toasters and kettles, None I'd go that. more to a more to a generator. Oh, kettle, kettle. Kettle. Yeah. Don't forget we got a gas cooktop. Oh. All right. Okay. Did Nan ever have one of them whistling pots that she put on the Yes. See, this is where we go back to the golden oldies age yes, of caravan. Yes, it is. And it, and it, we, this is the disconnect part. All right, this is the real disconnect part. We've got so many other ways that we can still live whilst caravanning as well, which Love is it. super, super cool. But let's jump inside and have a look. The outside features we can see, these roll-out awnings, they are standard on every one of our caravans. So they're gonna come out, again, I'm talking Imperial, but eight feet off the side of the caravan, or sure. 2.4 meters. Okay. That's it's gonna give you a nice good shade over the top of your head, mm -hmm. and you'll find you'll do most of your entertaining outside. Okay, so a nice picnic table here for um, your wine, your nibblies, that you sort go. of stuff. Um, so we've got heaps of outside features. Gets the Mersey Valley up and yes. away from Bruce Heights. There you go, there you go. Which is very important. But one of the most important things, especially for today, we need to find is we need to find the right layout for you. So I can talk all features until the cows come home, but unless we find the right combination of internal colors mm -hmm. with that timber bench top, external colors, something in stock and a layout that suits you, you know, we need, we've got it. We got time, you know, time isn't on our side here. We've got some time pressures. We've got four to six weeks. So let's jump inside. We'll see what you think of this layout. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned is this is one of our only vans that actually has a full 
floor to ceiling pantry. <gasps> I'm not sure if you love your cooking. No, no. no. You don't That's love your snacks. cooking? That's for snacks. <laughs> Dips, biscuits. Yes, yep. Cheese Maybe sauce. even, yeah, there you go. You know, and wine. And wine. We've mentioned cool. that. After Let's you. Let's do it. This so, one seems way more spacious than the last one we were in, even though, what are we talking, six inches? Six inches, that's it. Makes a difference. Yes, it's just 15 centimetres, that's all it is. But inside of a caravan, it makes a world of difference. It really does. And that there is my pantry, That right? is your pantry, yes. So Fantastic. floor to ceiling. Okay, you've got these beautiful pull-out baskets. Okay, so if you are sitting here, you can get the nibblies even closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the important thing. That's it. I love that you understand me. That's it. Okay, so you look incredibly comfortable sitting there. All right, this is what we call our cafe style seating. Right. Okay, which means that the seats are opposite one another and the table that you have your arm resting on actually folds out. So if you stay where you are, if you don't mind, I'm just <gasps> going to go, voila. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. I like that it folds back because it gives the illusion of more space. More space, yes. But when you are eating, especially if you do get some rather poor weather and you need to come inside, or if you just like to have your breakfast inside, at least you can do that here before you actually venture outside underneath your rollout awning. Wonderful. So that folds back like so. All right. And we spoke earlier about charging points. You have our power and 240, uh, 240 volt power there and obviously our 12 volt power. Now we've spoken a lot around obviously 12 volt and 240 volt. There will be times where you will just go into a caravan park. You know, last weekend we went up to the Barossa and it was beautiful up there. But then there will also be times where you just want to go free camping. So it's important that we have both a combination of appliances that can handle off grid, but then also appliances that are more suited and convenient to caravan parks. And we've mm -hmm. done that really well inside of this van. It is only six foot longer, uh, sorry, six inches longer, but it That's gives a you difference. such a, such more, so much more room in around the bed. Okay. Um, it makes it easier to make the bed. All right. Because again, I'm sure that Simon would be amazing at making beds. Yeah. That right? would be his designated That'll be his. Job. All right. So you can actually get in around with plenty of room to make the bed. You've got nice, comfortable seating and you have your kitchen over this side. Now these are all drawers. Okay. So there is a heap of storage in here. You've also got a cupboard there, all right, with more storage drawers underneath the sink. All of our vans, we put a full oven in them. I'm not sure, again, if you like to bake or do anything like that. Like you do like to, to bake. bake. So we put a full oven as standard in all of our caravans. Now, as another use of space and to make things feel bigger, see this top? Yes. Okay, that lifts up like so. Oh, okay. I wondered what you meant yes. earlier about the gas cooktop. Yes, then we lift this one up, voila. There then we is. have one electric and three gas, okay? And again, we can be doing our cooking in here when we're off grid. We have two big gas cylinders on the front that you'll carry with you. Mm -hmm. They're both nine kilo gas cylinders. They will last you for about two weeks off grid, okay? They'll be running the fridge, they'll be running the cooker, and they'll also be running your hot water system. So when you jump into your shower, which we can have a look at in a moment, you're going to have a nice warm shower. Fantastic. Now, how much gear are you going to take? Are you going to be taking a lot of stuff with you? Or are you going to be like, are you more, you know... Look, kind of... I don't mind just slumming it in the active wear, but we yeah. will have the dogs. Yes. And we'll need to make, you know, room for their beds and food and toys. And, yes. and look, to be honest, they're going to bring more stuff than we then are. you will. Okay, I've got some good news. Because if I put my hand under here... This lifts up. <gasps> Amazing. Okay. That's where the wine goes. That's where the wine goes. This is where the dog biscuits go. <laughs> this is where anything that you need, just out of sight, out of mind, but you still need to take it. Okay, so it's a beautiful big storage area there. And we put the queen bed. This is a full inner spring mattress queen bed on gas struts. So it's very easy to lift up and put back down. And I don't need any different sized bedding. No. So this is all queen. Fitted queen. Fitted queen. Perfect. Yeah. And down we go. Now just a couple of more features before I ask you. The amazing question is, do you like this layout? We have pull up pull down Ooh. blinds. Okay. So see how easy that was. So when you're wanting to wind down at night, okay, you can simply just pull this straight up. We're not worrying about the old school curtains that are coming across. 
that are going to attract a lot of dust. Okay, and then down for our fly screen. And they just separate up like so for our window to open. So again, if you've got a beautiful day like we have today, you can just do that. And then like so, and you're going to get a beautiful cross breeze coming straight through. Do you think I can get these windows at home? No, <laughs> no, no. You're in your home. <laughs> this is you're very in true. Your home. I might start to like it better here. That's it. That's it. So again, 18 foot 6. I'm going to ask the question because it is in stock. What do you think of this layout? Jeb, I think this one's my perfect match. You think this is your perfect match? <laughs> How good's that? How good's that? So... Basically what we do from now is if you think this is your perfect match and this is the best one you've seen so far, it is in stock. So it is available straight away. A couple of things that we need to go through before obviously we start to do a quote to work out exactly what this is going to cost to get you into this is any additional little things that we may need to add to it that will potentially be an additional cost that's going to be more comfortable off the beaten track. So. We've put a bit of a pack together to make life easy. Oh, amazing. Because okay? I don't know what I don't know. You don't know what you don't know and you don't know what you don't what you need and what you don't need. So what we've done here is we've got a, a little couple little packs, all right, and some suggestions. Now please this is not me selling to you. This is just suggestions. Yes, they cost money, but they're just suggestions. Okay. What we can do in this van, aftermarket. So what aftermarket means is we fit it after the van's been built. Which of I like course we that have you're to doing the definition of all of your fancy words fancy now, thank words. you. Yeah, it is literally a different language in, in caravanning, but anything aftermarket means that we have to fit it here at the dealership. Right. Okay, because we need something in four to six weeks, we can't fit it when we build it. So all these other things have all been fitted when we built the van, okay? Mm -hmm. But we need to make sure that we can get it as close to ex what you want, but still have it in four weeks. Yes. Okay, so we've got Look, a few I things like to do. I like to throw out a challenge. That's it. So we've got Sirocco fans just forget the word sirocco and think fan okay right. so sirocco airflow. yes just airflow okay Bring it. so we put a couple of fans in here mm -hmm. okay because remember earlier i said the air conditioner will only work if you're plugged in yes okay so if you're wanting to disconnect the fans will run on 12 volt so you're going to get a good amount of airflow and you're going to not not be in here hot and sticky okay when you're free camping and just using your 12 volt. See, these are the comfort things that I care yes. about. Yes, yes, so fans. So that's for the summer, for the mm -hmm. hot times, all right, like today. But I'm gonna assume you're gonna travel in the winter as well. We know yes. here in South Australia, especially if you go down south, it can get rather chilly. I was just gonna bring more blankets. Yes, we do have an option for a diesel heater. Ooh. Yes, so again, it does run via diesel. We put a little tank at the front I would assume Simon's car is probably diesel. Yes, so when we fill I it up at the fuel one. station, he can obviously fuel that up as well. Now what we do is we'll put a little gauge, okay, on the side here. So you guys don't even have to get out of bed. You can turn it on and before you get out, the entire caravan will be nice and toasty. Nice, toasty Perfect. and warm. One last suggestion that I suggest to everybody is stability control. Okay, what stability control is, it is a, a technology, basically, and I know I'm talking a different language, yeah, I do apologise. Basically, what it will do is it is fitted to the caravan and it senses if the caravan becomes out of alignment with the car. So let's say something was to happen, heaven forbid, touch wood, it doesn't. But something was to happen and the van started swaying behind the car. That can get quite scary, mm. okay, when you're going down the highway at 95, 100 kilometres an hour and the van starts swaying behind you especially if you don't have much experience in towing. Yes. We fit what we call electronic stability control. So it's a, it's electronic and it stabilizes the van. Okay. I call it a bit of a life insurance. I was going to okay. say, we love the safety features. Yeah. So I would also suggest that we put electronic stability control on this caravan. It is something that I can order within seven days and I can have here. It is made over in Melbourne. It's specifically designed exactly for your caravan. Okay, so we send them the lengths, the weights, everything, and it's all programmed in Melbourne. They ship it over and my order electrical team, they will fit that up here for you before you take it. So we're not talking to Brad anymore. We and don't have to butter him up a little no, bit. No, so we've got to butter up Brad to get the van ready. Mm -hmm. And then we've got to butter up our electricians, but they're the easy ones. Fantastic. Yeah, Brad's the grumpy one. <laughs> I love the options. The safety features, the warmth, the fans. 
I'm nervous about the price. Yes. Can yes. we walk through whether this even fits into our budget? Most certainly we can, most certainly. Of course, everyone has a budget. One thing I will say is that we are very, very price conscious here as well. There are a lot of caravans out there that are up, you know, in the 90 and 95 and a hundred thousand dollar mark, you know, for something of this size. And I can tell you straight out, without me even doing too much, we're going to be somewhere between, you know, 80 and 85, including all of your features. Including the features. Including all of your features. Music now, keep to in my mind, ears. Keep in mind we register it for you for 12 months. Oh. We're not like a car dealership where you negotiate the price and then they go plus, 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 yeah, plus, 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 plus. That annoys me as a buyer. I don't like that. So what we do is we do everything all inclusive. So it's literally you just jumping in your car and driving into the sunset. But if you like, we can jump into the office. I know I just spitballed a number at you. If you think that is kind of where you want to be, let's jump inside. I'll work it out exact for you and then we can see what we can do. Let's get the magic calculator out. Let's do it. Sharpen the pencil. Can, we can tell Simon the good news that he's sold me on, you've sold me on the caravanning life. There we go. You'll love it.